my worst fears are that we cause significant, we, the field, the technology, the industry, cause significant harm to the world. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong. Uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government to prevent that from happening. But we, we try to be very clear-eyed about what the downside case is and the work that we have to do to mitigate that. I'm nervous about it. I think people are able to adapt quite quickly. Uh, when Photoshop came onto the scene a long time ago, you know, for a while people were really quite fooled by Photoshopped images and then pretty quickly developed uh, an understanding that images might be Photoshopped. Uh, this will be like that, but on steroids. Have you ever thought of living in a world with wonders created by technology? With just the snap of a finger, you get all that you need. Artificial intelligence is a realm where human creativity and imagination merge with technological marvels. Today, we will plunge into a captivating journey into the world of AI, where machines imitate human intelligence. Many of us might have heard the word OpenAI, but what is OpenAI? OpenAI is an American nonprofit research and development company that aims to provide the benefit of artificial intelligence to all humans. OpenAI continuously works on improving its models and developing new features. It was founded to advance digital intelligence in a way that's safe and beneficial for all. The CEO, Sam Altman, has announced many new changes and improved features in the fast and evolving technology, which we will be taking a look at in today's video. A ton of statements have been revealed by OpenAI, which reveals changes in both the features of the technology and the board. First and foremost, a new initial board has been chosen for OpenAI, and Sam Altman is back as the CEO of the company, after being fired for a vague reason which is not clear. Who is a part of the new board? The new board has Brett Taylor, the former CEO of Salesforce, Larry Summers, economist and former U.S. Treasury Secretary, and Adam D'Angelo, co-founder and CEO of Quora. Mira Muradi has been chosen as the CTO and Greg Brockman returns as the president of OpenAI. This board is quite different from the one they announced and seems to be a very engaging one. OpenAI claims that its ultimate goal is to strengthen and foster OpenAI's corporate governance. This can be achieved with a set of well-qualified individuals in the field of artificial intelligence, whose collective experience represents the breadth of OpenAI's mission, which is from technology to safety to policy. The company has also promised to stabilize the OpenAI organization in order to serve its mission. They have also put their word for increasing the security of the technology and making it trusted by all the stakeholders, which include users, customers, employees, and community members. Brett Taylor had tweeted saying that, I intend to step away and leave the oversight of OpenAI in the good hands of board colleagues. From this, it is clear that Brett Taylor will only be there on the board until the task assigned to him is completed. But it is not quite sure whether after his departure we will have to see a new member added to the list, or whether it's just going to be the members who already exist on the board. There were many rumors stating that Adam D'Angelo was having a potential conflict of interest and that is the reason why OpenAI had removed Sam Altman from the CEO position. Sam Altman tweeted clearing up the air of rumors and also stated that, I want to say that Adam has been very clear with me and the board about the potential conflict and doing whatever he needed to do, rescuing himself when appropriate and even offering to leave the board if we ever thought it was necessary, to appropriately manage this situation and to avoid conflicted decision making. From this, we can confirm that the two of them have worked and sorted stuff out between them, since there had been a very slight conflict of interest, as Adam is launching a product that is quite similar to GDP. Sam Altman also comments that if OpenAI turns out to be a successful company, it is going to have a huge impact and will touch on different aspects of the economy, and also claims that it will build complex relationships with various world entities. It is also quite visible that so many companies are going to create their own GPTs and different versions of them. It is also evident that the conflict between Altman and Adam was not one with huge effects, but instead was something that was resolved among themselves and was not as big as what people actually thought it was. Sam Altman also asserts that there have been many misunderstandings between the board and him, and that it has all been a learning experience and exposure to him which he plans to put into action. He also claims that he will manage situations according to the decision of the board. The best interests and mission of the company are given top priority. We can give a full understanding about the fact that Sam Altman has become more powerful and vigilant with his words and actions, and he is very well aware of what to do next for the development of the company and technology. Mira Marathi has been put in the CTO position and has tweeted that she is happy to be a part of the board and that OpenAI is irreplaceable. To this, one of the persons has commented that, 
OpenAI is replaceable. The OpenAI data is what is replaceable, meaning that the Quora CEO is still on board because his data seems to be critical. Another very interesting thing to look into is the fact that Microsoft has also joined hands to work with OpenAI and is now a part of the new board. If a company like Microsoft, with a profit of billions of dollars, has decided to team up with OpenAI, they see something that is too good for each one of us in them. They wouldn't want to have a loss, and this might have been one of the greatest decisions they've taken so far. A very surprising and unexpected news that we received about the new board is about the bow-out of Helen Toner, who is an Australian researcher and a former member of the earlier board. This was never a piece of controversial news, but was unforeseen. She had also posted a tweet where she said that she resigned and also expressed her gratitude for being a part of the company. She also expressed her view on how powerful OpenAI is and wished luck to all the new members of the board. But before this, there had been posts and news spreading around revealing the beef between Sam Altman and Helen Toner. Some articles disclosed that Altman had argued with Toner before ouster, but again, Sam Altman had come up with a tweet thanking Helen and the other members of the board for their contribution and effort put into the company. It is quite confusing on what actually happened between the two of them, but as of now, one thing that we can confirm is that she is no longer a part of the board and that the conflict between Altman and Toner has been resolved. The most transfixing news that we have received right now is about the departure of Ilya Sutskaver from the board. This was mentioned by Altman himself in a statement where he said that, while Ilya will no longer serve on the board, we hope to continue our working relationship and are discussing how we can continue his work at OpenAI. Ilya is one of a gem and is a genius when it comes to superintelligence. Losing a person like him from the team would be something for the team to regret in the future. And this might be the reason why Altman is trying his best to think of different ways to discuss about work with Ilya. Ilya's position in OpenAI is still like an undeveloped black and white film. The recent posts and tweets of the new board and the members of OpenAI do not include Ilya in any of these. Ilya himself has not made any statements or comments regarding the same. As of now, it is safe for us to believe that he is still a part of the OpenAI company, but not the board. Upon knowing this news, a person had commented, if Ilya Sutskever had gone from OpenAI, they'd be losing a genius. If that happens, the best case scenario is Ilya joins Microsoft and works in partnership with OpenAI. We don't really want to lose a star player in what's currently the best team out there. OpenAI claims that they have the top three immediate priorities. Advancement of the research plan, continuing to improve and deploy its products, and helping people benefit from the advantages of the technology. Their main aim is to improve the security and take it to their stakeholder at the earliest. All we have to do is wait and watch the next innovative ideas that are yet to be discovered in the field. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content.